All righty, Daniel, thank you so much. Well, as of last November, there are about 2 million active duty and selected reserve um, service members. And oftentimes, members of the military face substantial and unique financial challenges, whether that be additional job stress, lack of crossover work skills, and balancing a modest income with fewer assets. So what resources are out there for those who have served our country? Well, this morning, we are joined by financial expert Neil Brown to be joining us with some help for our nation's heroes. Neil, thank you so much for stopping. By. Good morning, thank you. Yeah, we got to talk about this. I loved how we explained it. It's kind of a whole roadmap when it comes to financial help for uh, military. Absolutely. The, the roadmap is very similar to what a normal person would do. Mm -hmm. They just have different stresses and different opportunities. Wow. Let's go ahead and talk about that too. I know we actually have a map that I'd love to show you. So what are some of the challenges that they, that they would face that maybe we wouldn't? A lot of things that they're looking at. Um, they're going to have to go through building housing reserves. They're mm -hmm. going to have to think about housing assistance. Mm -hmm. They might have deployment issues, right. different types of savings, different types of health care, and even different types of retirement plans. So with that, let's go ahead and break it down. Let's first talk about jobs assistance, like for veterans employment training services, and then other organizations that provide those resources. Absolutely. When you think about a veteran, uh, there's going to be a lot of stuff out there. They may have some assistance for their spouses to help with certifications, to help with licensing. Mm -hmm. Veterans also are going to have tuition assistance programs. They may have the 9-11 post-GI bill, and even above and beyond that to help with additional expenses, you've got a yellow ribbon program for maybe out-of-state colleges or private schools. Yeah, I mean, when it comes to education, I think that's super important there too. Can you talk a little bit about like those programs, that yellow ribbon program and the post-9-11 GI bill? Yeah, the yellow ribbon program really goes above and beyond the post-9-11. Mm -hmm. Post-9-11 would be for like your local colleges, right. whereas the yellow ribbon program might be for out-of-state tuition or more expensive private schools within your state. Um, you've also got to think about maybe $4,000 for your spousal training if they're getting a different licensing or certification or assistance program as well. And also too, Small Business Association really helps for jobs. So taking education out of the picture there too, there are a lot of resources that are available when you want to go into the workforce, you know, post serving our country. Absolutely. You think about the training, a lot of the crossover skills may not be there from, right. may get great experience in the military, but not crossover so much. So you may have some career counseling with veterans administrations. You may have the Small Business Administration to provide loans for veterans to purchase or start businesses. So there's a lot of different things that they should be thinking about. Where should we be going? Like kind of what are the uh, first practices that our veterans should be searching to get all of these resources? They've really got to think about a timeline and start thinking about two years out mm -hmm. and start putting it together and looking at your counseling that's offered internally. But the big thing is not waiting until the end, just going through there, trying to schedule it out in three to six month blocks to figure out what they need to bite off in different time periods. I mean, planning is so important. That's really for everybody. Absolutely. Wow. Let's go ahead and talk about really quickly as well, healthcare too, the health benefits, the DOD savings deposit program and TRICARE. Yeah, they're going to face a lot of differences with their health care. Right. So the TRICARE is typically going to be better than you'll get in civilian world. Mm -hmm. So you might want to think about how you're going to transition out of that. And the other thing that you're going to think about there is just the different types of retirements and even the deployment savings accounts that you mentioned. They can put up to $10,000 in and get a 10% guaranteed return on it. Oh, that's really good to hear there Absolutely. too. Yeah, and a lot of these resources as well, the VA has all those resources and then you can always kind of search them for, as we mentioned, the GI Bill, the ribbon program, always an opportunities for people to save some money. Absolutely. Okay. Neil, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you. This is definitely important stuff, of course, as we are going into Independence Day there. Well, don't go anywhere. We have three things that you need to know happening around the world this morning. Stay with us.